Hello, in this video, we're going to go over how to find uh, California mugshots. And uh, to get started, visit CaliforniaPublicRecords.org. I'll have a link in the description. You can click on that or just type this into your browser. Uh, now, you want to hover over other records and find a page for inmate search. So once you're on the inmate search, uh, you're going to have options, uh, which would be California Department of Corrections. And this would be uh, prison records, so people serving over 12 months. And then we cover the most populous counties. And at the county level, you have your jail records. Now, these uh, are under 12 months. People serving under 12 months, but typically it's even less than that. Sometimes people get arrested and released the same day. They just get booked and released or even uh, the next day. And uh, But it still creates a, a record, an arrest record. So you have uh, quite a few counties here that you can look at. Now, California does make it very difficult and it's actually uh, practically impossible to get an actual... Uh, so they actually make you jump through quite a few hoops just to even look up a name. But they will give you a simple report. There is no v actual image. I've looked for uh, through quite a few uh, the, the popular databases in the most populous counties and it's just impossible. You would have to uh, make some kind of a special request, I believe, to even get an image going. But they are not just releasing this information. They will. A lot of these places do provide a report. Uh, pers like personal information, facility, things like that, arrest information, uh, and then exactly uh, the charges. So you still can find information, but you're not necessarily going to get an image. So uh, with that said, uh, you can also utilize court records. And for an example, if there is an arrest that you have a specific interest in, uh, you can always uh, come down and uh, do research at the county level. So actually, it's not the it's the background checks. If you go to the background checks page, you're actually able to search by case or by the defendant name. And so, if you wanted to look closer into a particular arrest or or a particular uh, person, you can actually use court records at the county level to do more research. So you have quite a few options here. Uh, you might, you're not necessarily going to get the mugshot, um, but at least you can get the information. So uh, your other option is to use the name search on top. So if you're looking for criminal and arrest information in general, uh, this is a great tool because it not only gives you information from within the state, but it also goes outside the state. So it gives you a nationwide look into someone's history. People do move around. So if let's say somebody had uh, an arrest in uh, say Texas or Arizona, and now they're living in California, uh, you're not, if you're just checking California records, you're not necessarily going to catch that. So this tool kind of gives you an opportunity to uh, to get a little bit more information, including information coming out of other states. So uh, with that said, visit CaliforniaPublicRecords.org and uh, get started on your uh, California mugshot or at least uh, detailed arrest uh, report page search. Thank you.